Now, one thing I do want to dive into before I wrap up this video that now what I'm about to say here, I was just kind of honestly, I was laying in bed last night thinking about the trade and the moves the Browns have made. Just it kind of dawned on me that the Browns clearly are not done adding to this team. And we do know that one position they have not addressed yet this offseason is running back. And now I have no sources for this, guys. So please do not take away from this that I, I have heard this from any source or gotten information from anywhere at all. This is just pure speculation on my part, me personally. But with Andrew Barry's comments about, you know, over the next several weeks, more moves are coming, veteran market, veteran trade market. Another guy on the trade block, on the team that has a very, very strong connection with the Browns right now because of Kevin Stefanski's former job, the Minnesota Vikings are looking to move on from running back Dalvin Cook. Now, as far as, like I, like I said, the speculation, no sources, haven't dived into the, the contract situation or anything like that. But, you know, if Andrew Barry was able to get Zadarius Smith from the Vikings for a fifth round pick, I imagine he could turn the six round pick that he just got from them, give it right back to him and say, well, why don't you just give me Dalvin Cook? Something like that. I could see Andrew Barry pulling off some sort of move to get Dalvin Cook into Cleveland for a season to be the new Kareem Hunt. And he would be a much more explosive, consistent, reliable uh, running back in that position, I do believe, because like you know, the Browns even made the comments that they they felt Kareem Hunt, you know, his speed dropped off here in the last year. They didn't utilize him much. Imagine Dalvin Cook in the you know the Robin role to Nick Chubb's Batman. Unbelievable what this offense could do. Like I said, this is purely speculation. I have no sources whatsoever, but. There are connections between the Browns and the Vikings. Kevin Stefanski had Dalvin Cook in Minnesota, so he's familiar with him. You know, Zadarius Smith is the second Minnesota Vikings defensive lineman that the Browns have added now this offseason. It would not surprise me to see them go back to that source and, and just kick the tires and see, well, what would it take to get a Dalvin Cook onto this team? Because you saw Zadarius Smith restructure. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. He... Zadarius Smith agreed to restructure his contract with the Browns when he came over. He'll earn $11.75 million in 2023, and then he'll be a free agent after the season in 2024. So it wouldn't surprise me to see them somehow acquire a guy like Dalvin Cook, restructure his contract, and then he's a free agent after this season. But the, the sort of talent and capabilities that a guy like Dalvin Cook would bring to this offense, oh my gosh. His skill set is, is an awesome compliment to Nick Chubb because he's a hard runner too. And if you want to give Nick Chubb a spell, you want to say, hey, why don't you take you know, this series off or that series off? What I mean, Dalvin Cook can come in and be a three down back, but he doesn't have to be. He can also just play the third down role whenever Nick Chubb you know, needs to come off the field and you want to get a, a more fine-tuned pass catcher out of the backfield. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. The next few weeks are going to be exciting. I really do think... The Browns, like I said before, have, are, they're not done adding to this team. And I can't wait to see what else Andrew Barry can do. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Dogs Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at The Dogs Podcast. Get your thoughts on the show at thedogspodcast.com.